Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and my craft table. Jen here and today I am doing a bit of labeling and organizing. So I wanted to share these little ideas with you and hopefully they will inspire you to take a look around your craft space or just your home in general, maybe even your office and do some labeling and organizing with your Cricut. So a few things are the supplies you need. Um, I have a, some HTV and a rectangle that I'm actually going to put on this tray. And I like these trays because they help me kind of organize my projects. I have some already cut out vinyl pieces and some of them I've actually already weeded to help us save time because they were really small and intricate. But these are the um, actual project labels themselves. Definitely have our transfer tape and tools that we need. And then here's what we're going to be doing today. So I have these little markers. These are, well, sorry, highlighters. And they are by Mr. Penn. Um, they're really cool. First of all, I love the shape. It's just different than normal. And these have a chisel tip. I really like the chisel tip. So that's, you know, a, a plus. But these are specific for like um, if you have a Bible and you want to highlight, but you don't want it to bleed through. So my daughter and I needed some markers or highlighters for our Bibles, and these just fit the bill. And because we have similar sets, I'm actually going to label mine. She did not want her labeled, so that's all right. Then I have a bunch of embellishments that I got. These... Um, I ordered off of Simon Says Stamp, and we're going to put these embellishments in these little um, tins that I got from the Dollar Tree. These are actually magnetic on the back, so these will go on my craft cart. And so I want a label for each one of those. I also got another organizing tool from the Dollar Tree, and this is actually pretty cool. I have you know, a bunch of bits and bobs here and there that I'm putting into these. I'm not going to label each of one of these specifically, but I am going to put something on the front here. So I thought that would be really fun and cool. Then I have some home office stuff. So I have a cup with tacks, one with staples and one with rubber bands. And I wanted to go ahead and label those. That way when they're empty, my family knows which one gets which item. I have a jar. Now this was actually a really nice candle jar that we literally used the candle all the way down to the bottom. So I cleaned it out and I have a bunch of crafty scissors. So one is a super heavy pair of pinking shears and then I have some regular scissors. You know, not, not my tiny little Cricut ones, but my my really big scissors and then I've got some other things that need a, a, a home. So this will be for my crafty tools and I have a little surprise design to add to that. And then I don't know if you or maybe an older person in your family has one of these pill sorters, but I find that these um, printed labels come off of them eventually. So I wanted to relabel those and then we have a canister, so I wanted to put a label on that because you never know if this is sugar, salt, sugar substitute, or flour, or whatever. So I wanted to help my family out and be able to have all of that labeled. So let's go ahead and get started with our project. And I think I'm going to start with my little pens here. And I tried one of them last night to make sure that they were going to work for the sizing. Everything I am showing you today, I have pre-measured and cut. Uh, some of the items were cut on my Maker 3 and some of them were cut using my Joy. But I wanted to have as much prep as possible before filming. All right, so all of these very simplistically, we literally are just putting the name on them and I've already got those ready to go so let me grab some transfer tape All right. 
Okay, so I actually think I'm going to use this here. I think I can get quite a few of them on the transfer tape. It is springtime here, but it has been cold and believe it or not, it has been snowing in April. Not really sticking to the ground, but just snowing. So that's been fun, and I thought that getting some labels and some organization done would be a good way to spend some time indoors. So I'm going to burnish this down. I'm going to burnish the front and the back. So then I can just peel up each one of these and then we will put these on the bins. And this is just white um, adhesive vinyl. It is just the Cricut brand. And actually, a lot of these particular, oh, that one's not wanting to come down. A lot of these particular um, scraps or, you know, vinyl pieces are actually out of my scrap bin. So, this is a great way to get vinyl scraps out of your craft room. There we go. And then each one of these will get placed on a pen. Okay, so minus the one where we are missing an E, and I will either have to locate that or I will recut this, and that's okay. But these look so cute, and I didn't like overly um, stress about whether they all exactly lined up. I just wanted to get these on here, and I think they look great. All right. Okay, on to the next craft. I want to show you one thing. Okay, so um, in another video, we put a really sweet design for spring on just a little canvas bag. Actually, this bag came from the Dollar Tree, and this is HTV. And I just thought that this would be a great bag. I always need something to carry my Bible and prayer journal in. And then I, I do have like a little pencil pouch that I will probably put these in, mainly just to keep them all together and, you know, not have anything uh, rub up against the vinyl. So, all right, we've got definitely one project down. And let's move on to the next project. project that I'd like to do is working on these little embellishments. So again, this, um, this actually came from the Dollar Tree and I like all the little um, parts or, or compartments and that would be great for our little crafty bits and bobs. So what I did is in this font here in Design Space, and I think this is BFC Teacher Treats and I just think it's a fun, um, it's a fun font, really. So then we're just going to have to weed out these little middles really fast. Down in the comments, let me know what kind of spring organization projects you guys like to do. Um, I like to purge things and clean things out get rid of things um, just kind of lighten up everything it's a great way to lose about 50 pounds you get rid of stuff that you do not need or want it also makes me think of you know the fact that sometimes we just consume way too much and that we should probably 
be a little more mindful about what we bring in so that we're not always getting rid of stuff. But this, look at that. I love the color. Um, this is a really pretty dark pink. This is actually from Expressions Vinyl, but I absolutely love that. So let's see, will that be enough? Ooh, look at that. I think that is pretty. And I decided just to literally just call this Crafty Bits and Bobs because I am not 100% sure of what I really want to put in here. Um, I've got some paper bits from when I was piecing some geometric things onto um, cards. And then these are like some little heart. I did a cutout card and all the little cutouts are these really cute hearts and stuff. And I thought that would be fun to put in a shaker. So I went ahead and saved those. And then these are these cute little spring flowers. They're literally super flat. I love them, but these would be good for a shaker card or even just to glue on top of the, of the front of a card. So crafty bits and bobs. And I'm going to burnish down the front and the back. And I thought that would just take care of all nine little spots because I definitely don't want to label nine tiny little things that might change with, um, depending on what I'm purchasing. So we're just going to line this up. And ironically, okay, I don't know if you can see this, but we have a, a grid here. <laughs> And ironically, the lines of my transfer tape are lining up with the lines of my um, of my box. That is crazy. Pull this off. Wonderful. Okay, crafty bits and bobs it is. The next thing is actually, so these, um, it's called, this calls for confetti, and these are um, little sequins here and confetti here. These I order off of Simon Says Stamp, and then this is from Pink Fresh Studio. Ordered these off of Simon Says. These are just clear ice drops, but just little card embellishments and or um, shaker card embellishments. These I've handled a lot, so I think that I'm going to just take a super, I didn't do it on this big one, but I haven't handled it really at all. But these, I'm just using some rubbing alcohol and I've handled these way too much. And I'll probably have to cut these apart because all of these are on the same. And that's okay. I have got so much transfer tape. So a little bit every once in a while where I use it slightly and then toss it is okay. So I don't know if I finished my conversation. But let me know down in the comments what kind of crafts, I mean, what kind of organization and decluttering that you like and things you like to label. Okay, so we've got clear ice cubes, we got iridescent sequin, and then we have balloon confetti. Um, I am always interested in what people do to make their workspaces and their homes um, organized and super functional. I think that it's always fun to keep improving on whatever it is that you are doing. Get these down. Perfect. And I, I really have just started learning how to make um, cards that involve more than just having the Cricut cut it out. So that includes like ink blending and stamping and embellishments. But I actually, 
there are times where I really just think, okay, this card is beautiful. How can I use my Cricut to cut all that out? Because I don't have like a library of dies to use for die cutting. So I sometimes make my own die cuts using the Cricut. And of course you can make your own stencils, etc., for the ink blending. I can make a card with from it being inspired by other crafters who have different craft machines. Oh, that I was right on the edge. Okay. And I guess not so good. like that I can put these on my craft cart and they just stick on the side using the magnet. Let's get these into, and I am not the best at opening these zipper pouches. I'm just going to use my scissors. And so we have our um, iridescent sequent, sequin. Okay, so there's one. These are the clear eye stops. Actually, these have a little zip. This is really actually a very cute bag. This bag might have to stay and become something. All right, so hold on to that. Okay, we have our clear eye stops. Bits and bobs, clear ice drops, iridescent sequin, and then balloon confetti. And has anyone made a shaker card? I keep seeing them everywhere, and I really want to try a shaker card. I feel a little nervous about doing that, but oh, I didn't even notice. Look, it has actual like confetti confetti. I thought it was just balloons all the way around. That's fun. Okay, well, I do have some birthdays coming up, so maybe I will attempt a birthday shaker. We have, so far, the highlighters, and then we have the crafty bits and bobs. Then we have our iridescent sequin, confetti, and the ice drops. All right, so this next one, I absolutely need to make sure that I clean this off. So this, this is my current jar and it is a variety of things like some random tools and they need a taller, more substantial home. So that is why I decided we needed to use this jar. Sometimes I burnish the vinyl down before I read. It just kind of seems to be a little helpful. So this is a um, white adhesive vinyl again, and it is on a white background. So hopefully you will be able to see the design before we put it on there. I just grabbed a, an image out of design space and so it is basically like the little Cricut tools. And then, and it was split, so you have the two lines. And then I just wrote, literally I wrote craft tools. And here we go. So burnish down the front and the back. Maybe if I go a little slower. Perfect. There we go. All right. And then so we'll bring this in. And then we'll just line it up like so. Okay, I'm going to use my finger just to go along the middle. And then I'll start pressing outward. 
then we'll do a quick burnish. Finally found a cup cradle that I really like and I have to order it. But in the meantime, if you don't have a cup cradle, this is just, you know, the little squeegee and it has the two ridges and it actually does a pretty decent job, um, especially for things that are super flat instead of, you know, uh, you know, flat sides, like, like they go straight up. If it is super curvy, more like a little bowl or an ornament, it's definitely a little harder. Okay, look at that. That looks great. Okay, I'll set that to the side. And I have like another little piece. I thought this would be a little fun. This one, it says, Happy crafting. We'll get these little middles weeded out. And then I have a little cute little critter to put above it. I have a video that I want to push out soon, but it's basically um, organizing a small to no craft space because I don't have a large, you know, we kind of live in a tiny space, which is fine. I love it, but that means, you know, I don't have a ginormous craft room and I have to be more mindful about the amount of supplies that I keep but also how it's organized. This one is the little cricket kitty. And I don't have any. I know a lot of people collect those. But I, I don't have a lot of collections. And that's okay. Mainly because I don't have the space. But I thought it would be super cute to put him, you know, put him on the other side. Ready to go. So I thought it would be super cute to have him resting above where it says happy crafting. Just kind of a little surprise element like like that so one side just says craft tools the other side says happy crafting and has a cute little critter peeking peeking up I'm just gonna do a quick I can definitely see the fingerprints so the rubbing alcohol is also good for if you do stamp, you can clean off your, um, not stamp, stencils. If you do use stencils, you can clean off your stencils very quickly and they dry really fast um, with just the rubbing alcohol. And again, just a little burnish. Oh, how cute. It looks great. Okay, so we have the happy crafting on one side, craft tools on another. And now, so like these painting shears are really substantial and heavy. And this container is a lot more substantial than this tiny little mason jar. So now I can just put all of these little crafty things in here. And there we go, because I usually put my Cricut ones in my Cricut, in, you know, in the machine in that little storage drawer. But I do have other craft tools, and I needed a space for those craft tools. Okay, so we are four down and a couple more to go. Okay, so my next um, craft organization will be to actually put labels back on these on this pill sorter um, 
take vitamins and of course then I have you know some medications that I do take daily but what I thought would be great would be um, to get them relabeled because the print just absolutely came off and I am thinking that except for the letters that are double I'm thinking these singular letters I'm just literally going to place them on here like a sticker so we'll do Sunday I don't know that transfer tape is necessary now you certainly can use the transfer tape absolutely but I I just think that it's a little overkill and the only thing I could say though is maybe that if you wanted to line them all up together and then use the transfer tape to have them be transferred all at one time um, but this is not that kind of project so it's totally okay if they are done separately okay so here is the finished project um, the one thing I will say is that I really probably should have thought about the fact that there are braille markings down here in these corners and so for the letters that are pretty large that go in that area um, those have to be either trimmed a little bit or maybe a little bit smaller so if you do a project like this maybe make your letters a little smaller and not so large but I absolutely love this particular color and I really kind of like it big so this is great for someone who is older and they just really need to be able to see what they're looking for all right so that's another project done we're going to move on to the next one okay so this is um we have one for sugar already and this one is the uh, sugar substitute trivia and i know there are a lot of different opinions about sugar substitute so if you use it great if you don't believe in it that is okay too i just happen to use the stevia um, in my coffee and i find that i'm already you know working on keeping my blood sugar regulated so i absolutely love coffee and i drink a lot of it so if i were to drink fully loaded coffee with sugar it would really put my blood sugar into a frenzy so my husband i came home the other day and my sweet husband not only had he done a bunch of chores but he it was actually his idea to put this in um, the instead of the little container because we had a couple of bottles or jars of it and instead of putting leaving them all over together then he's like why don't we just put it in one OXO container and I thought hmm, I wouldn't have thought of that great idea so props to my husband and then it was so cute he had the label from the the trivia he had it like cut out and rubber banded because he didn't want to put tape on the container so cute but anyway I was just like you know I can make labels right so we combined our ideas it was his idea to put it in a container one of our empty canisters and then of course I had to put a label on it okay 
So I just thought that was super sweet that he was thinking about me when he was doing a bunch of cleaning. Look at that. And y'all, I forget what font this is. So I'm going to try and remember and put the fonts, at least list them down. They're, they're all from um, Design Space. But this looks very similar to the, the I and the A that is used on the trivia label. So it's not easy, the exact font, but I really like it. So there's another. This is the one where we are just going to label our, um, we're just going to label, I'm hoping these lids stay on. In fact, I think because I don't want to have tacks go everywhere, I am going to do this. And that way, I don't have text flying all over the place. All right, so we'll just scrub that off. All right, on these, what I did in Design Space is I grabbed a um, an an element of it's kind of like a circle, but not a not a perfect circle, and then. I found the image of whatever it was that I was doing. So this is tax. So I have three tax here. And then I used um, I used the subtract. So when you go to combine and then you um, do it instead of weld or slice or whatever, I used the subtract. So then it literally pulled the tack pieces out of the design and it deleted it automatically for me so that is wonderful um, I should probably do a video on slice versus subtract but anyway now um, I can just well first of all these little guys I will probably put on the lid or on the other side because I don't like to waste the vinyl but and I could probably adhere this like a sticker, but I think I want to make sure I have it in a in the right place. So I'm just going to go ahead and use up this transfer tape anyway. All right. And so you can see how it's it's definitely not like a perfect circle, which is good. And then I'm just going to stand up here. And I'm gonna have it go at an angle. I like the off, off you know, the offset -y, um, I guess that's not a word, but the offset artsy perspective where it's not just this perfect oval or this perfect circle. So we have this. That's sweet. And then as far as the other the little tack pieces I think I'm just gonna put them on this side just for fun I hate I hate to toss them they're so cute we don't want to leave them out so I'll just put one here I guess I could have mimicked that design but that's okay and one there and I had thought about just doing like the tacks like this but I really like I like the other side I like the the big label with doing that out so okay so here's one and I'm just going to use the same painter's tape to keep these lids down. I love containers. I love having my stuff in a container or in a in a drawer or in a bag or I just like that kind of stuff. That one is for rubber bands. This one is for the 
staples. Okay, so this will be the one side and then the stapler itself will be the other side. And because it has tiny parts, I definitely am going to use the transfer tape on this one. I like this color. I am really not an orangey person, but I really like this color. Had I thought about it, I would have put a red stapler. I have a red swing line stapler, kind of like Milton from Office Space. And I love it. It's at school, but um, I would have used red had I thought about it. But again, I didn't think about it. So then other side here. There we go. Okay, so we have the stapler on one side and we have it pulled out on the other side. This one, I used words instead of a picture. Um, I thought rubber band pictures would be difficult and I really couldn't find anything anyway. We're going to weed out the the edge and I do need to take out these little middles. I feel like everything is sticking to my fingers today. Almost like like I'm like I'm a sticky magnet or something. Oh well, we lost a little portion of the B even though I had it on there. Okay, do we see the little B somewhere? We do not. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit and I'm going to cut off the tiniest little triangle and I'm going to put it in that spot as if it was always supposed to be there. Okay. And then we're just going to take this down. Okay, so just burnish that down and oh that is doesn't want to come off there. It's because I have it backwards. There we go. And I'm just going to push that back into place. So if you ever use a if you ever lose like a tiny little middle, um, really only you would know. Um, I mean, if someone wants to analyze whether. <laughs> Whether that be and that be are the same, that's okay if they do that. But sometimes I, I have found that that will that will do in a pinch. We have rubber bands. We have stapler, and then our tacks. So so cute, and I love the fact that the other two we have we utilized the back of the design too. So. Okay, so on to the very last craft, and these are one of my favorites. This is HTV vinyl, and it's a spring plaid, and I love this mint color, but I'm going to put that on this wooden tray. I, I, I have a ton of these. I use them for my wood burning, but here recently I've been organizing my crafts by um, you know, putting the materials together, and these work great for containing all of the things that I need. So I thought that I would just put 
um, a put some HTV in the bottom and there we go and HTV works really 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 well on wood so the last one that I did and I can link that video for you is part of my spring crafts that um, I have done and I went all the way to the corner and what I decided is that on future trays that these needed to not go completely to the corner and mainly because it was even though I'm going to use the mini easy press it just was harder to get into the corner so having a little bit of that off set a size okay so I'm gonna put this in here I am using my mini easy press and I'm really just going to have it on low and I okay so I am just gonna go around the perimeter Ooh, that's very warm and underneath so there's a little lip underneath and so I have it just kind of resting where it falls off the edge of my pressing mat so that the pressing mat is up underneath the ledge that's on the underside because I think when I Oops, just turned it off. When I press this, it kind of dips down a little bit and doesn't want to. I need a little bit of resistance, basically. And I've noticed that the, the middle tends to do much better than the perimeter. We're going to let that sit for just a minute. Okay, so if we got our heat high enough and long enough, it'll just come right up super nice. So you can always look at the Cricut heat guide that is online. And so this is the second tray that I've done. And what I find is that I do have to press it a lot longer than what it says. And I don't know if it's because of user error, AKA me, or if it is the particular wood that I'm using. Was much better so now I have another tray and it's great because I can use this for all of my projects so for instance if I get all my projects and the supplies then I have it ready to go so we today did crafty bits and bobs and we have some of these little elements over there of course we did the um, medicine sorter. We had our pins. I am so excited about these pins. And then definitely we had a container. And then we have our crafty tools. So, and I just think that is so cute. Okay, well. The only, the only other thing we had were these little little deals, so we're good. All right, well, I hope that I have inspired you to take a look around, see what needs to be organized, labeled, and add a little bit of fun and pizzazz to your things.
and I will see you in the next video. So in the meantime, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.